The story of the sea serpent that was seen by the crew of the HMS Daedalus is one of the most famous stories of a sea serpent sighting. But they weren't the only ones to see a sea serpent in 1848. In a letter to a Glasgow paper that later would be published in The Guardian on the 30th of October 1848, Captain James Henderson of the Mary Ann of Glasgow told the story of how they met up with the American brig Daphne of Boston under the command of Captain Mark Trelawney on the 30th of September that same year. When clearing out of the port of Lisbon, they had been signaled by the Daphne to slow down, which they did. The mate of the Daphne then boarded the Marianne and handed them letters to be dispatched per first steamer for Boston when they arrived in England. When speaking to the mate, he told Captain Henderson that the day before, on the 29th of September, they had seen what was described as an extraordinary animal. It supposedly had the appearance of a huge serpent that was nearly 100 feet long and had a head similar to that of a dragon, and had been swimming about 40 yards from the ship. The crew of the Daphne had almost immediately loaded one of the deck guns with nails and any other metal that they could find to fire at the creature, and they could tell that they managed to hit and wound the creature. As the ship got closer to the creature, it would dive under the surface and try to swim away. According to the mate, the serpent moved rapidly through the water at a speed of between 15 or 16 knots an hour, despite being wounded. The Daphne would pursue the serpent for some time, but as it was getting late, it was also getting darker and darker, and they soon had to give up and resume their voyage. When I first did the video on the sea serpent that was allegedly seen by the crew of the HMS Daedalus back in March, I actually hadn't heard of this account at all. But now that I have, I do have some questions. The first one is the Daphne itself. While the HMS Daedalus was a real ship and there's much information published on their supposed sighting of a sea serpent, I wasn't able to find any information on a Boston brig named the Daphne under the command of a Captain Mark Trelawney. There was an American brig called the Daphne with Captain Copeland as master, but that ship was built in 1865, so almost 20 years after this supposed sighting. There's also an Australian brig called the Daphne that was built in 1814 that was under the command of a Captain John Howard, but that ship had wrecked in 1890 or 1820. I also wasn't able to find much information on the Mary Ann beyond this. According to Lloyd's Register of 1848, there was a ship called the Mary Ann out of Glasgow. And it did have a Henderson, but he was listed as its owner, not the master. That being said though, it is possible that there were ships called the Daphne and the Mary Ann sailing the seas in 1848, and that I simply wasn't able to find any information on those ships in particular. Henderson would end his letter by saying that there's no doubt in his mind that the letters that they were given by the crew of the Daphne would contain much more information on this alleged encounter with the sea serpent. And he also wrote that he had requested a copy of the letters because he wanted to get the full story. He also wrote that he was certain that these letters would be made public one day. But as far as I could tell, those letters, if they exist, have not been made public yet. Henderson also provides coordinates to where the Daphne supposedly saw the serpent, which puts us on the coast of Africa. 
This does match up somewhat with the location where the crew of the Deadless supposedly saw the serpent, which also was off the coast of Africa, between the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena. Not to mention, there's also the account of the HMS Plumper, who reportedly spotted a sea serpent off the Portuguese coast on the 31st of December 1848. This letter is real and Henderson is telling the truth. We now have three ships that supposedly saw a sea serpent around the coast of Africa within a five month period, with one of those ships actually attacking and pursuing the serpent. While the account of Captain Makwahi have been questioned by many and dismissed by some, this account by Henderson have gone largely unnoticed. It's pretty easy to be cynical and say that the whole thing was made up or that they mistook an animal for a sea serpent. The Daphne's account is the most dramatic of the supposed sightings, but it's also the one that's hardest to verify in terms of the ship itself even existing. I know that in my video on the Deadless Sea Serpent, I did say that the mystery seemed to have gotten a reasonable answer with the suggestion that it was a Sabaline whale. But I also said that we can never know for sure. And honestly, considering how terrifying the ocean is, it's easier to think that it was a case of mistaken identity. But with these three accounts in mind, is it really fair to say that three different ships, two of which we know to have existed, all reported the same thing within months of each other around the same area of the world, and all of them simply mistook an animal for a sea serpent? Remember, the Kraken was thought to be nothing but a myth for centuries until the giant squid was discovered. So with that in mind, is it possible that there was or is an undiscovered giant sea serpent living in and around the coast of Africa? What do you think?